Welcome to the December 2018 episode of Core Safety TV, brought to you by the National Mining Association. Thursday, December 6th was National Miners Day. This is the day each year on which we recognize and celebrate the men and women who work in the mining industry. It's a day of respect and acknowledgement for the hard work and sacrifices that these people bring to each and every one of us. Miners play a critical role in our society and economy by bringing out the minerals and resources needed to create thousands of comforts in our modern world. Congress named December 6th as National Miners Day. Back in 2009, the date was chosen in remembrance of the worst mining disaster in American history. It happened in Monongah, West Virginia, December 6, 1907. 362 miners lost their lives that day. We owe them and all miners before and after a huge thank you for the work that they do. Now, in other news, congratulations are going out this month to Prairie State Generating Company, PSGC. The company's Lively Grove Mine in Marissa, Illinois has just received independent certification under the core safety system. PSGC President and CEO Don Gaston says, we are very proud to be joining eight other companies in this class of core safety certified mines. As we work toward achieving our vision of becoming the best coal mine and coal fired power plant in the country, our expectation is that this core safety system will serve as a guidepost for future improvements to our safety programs and the success of the Lively Grove Mine. So again, congratulations to Mr. Gaston, all the folks at Prairie State Generating Company, and the Lively Grove Mine for this significant and important achievement. Well, we're now in the middle of December and getting close to the end of 2018. As of the date that we recorded this episode, though, there had been 24 fatalities reported so far this year by MSHA, the Mining Safety and Health Administration. Powered haulage accidents are continuing to be a major issue for all mining operations. In fact, half of those fatalities this year, 12 of the 24 in coal, metal, and non-metal mines were directly attributed to powered haulage. Now obviously, we can't pin the cause of all accidents down to any one thing, but it's true that anytime you have changes taking place at a mining operation, the potential is there for an increase in safety hazards and risks. So, what can you do about that? Well, for one thing, you can focus more on a process called change management. Here's a quick video nugget about that. Core Safety's module number 11 focuses on change management. Today's leading mining companies are proactively transforming their organizations. Properly designed and implemented change management efforts can result in a range of benefits for the supported initiative. When change occurs in a mining company or at an operation, it's important to proactively look at that new change. This might be the use of new equipment, a new mine design, expansion of the mine, or really any type of change. You should identify the change and analyze the risks. This is exactly what you'll learn in Core Safety's module number 11, how to identify those changes that may introduce new risk or increase unacceptable risk, and how to control change at every level of the organization and across functional areas, including emergency management. Your change management process should include these three types of changes, and along with a provision to address emergencies where the full management of change is likely to be unrealistic. Change management and emergency management should be closely coordinated. Now let's take a minute to hear what mining industry expert Tom Hethman has to say about all of this. Tom was one of the co-designers of Core Safety back in 2011. What's unique and challenging about mining is that risk shows up in many different forms. If I'm in a factory and I'm making widgets, the machines to produce widgets don't change. You leave on Friday afternoon and you come back Monday and the same machines are probably going to be there doing the same thing they were on Friday. In mining, I leave on Friday 
and Monday, the mind looks different, physically different. We're doing more or less the same activities, but we're doing it in a different part of the mind. And that constant change, along with this unique characteristics of, of risk in the form of digging in the earth, this is why it's such a challenging industry. And if you incorporate then the, the human element to that, that people make decisions in following procedure or not following procedure and in their own behavior, it's a lot to be able to deal with. And that's why it's essential that we use these risk-based management systems. If you have people that don't follow procedure, despite those procedures being designed to minimize risk, you can have problems. If you don't manage change effectively, such that your procedures are set up to handle risk as it's reflected in January of this year, but in June, the nature of your risk changes because you're mining in a different part of the pit with different characteristics, or you're increasing in volume, or the weather changes, or any other series of variables, and you don't take that into consideration, you expose yourself to the opportunity for greater problems. Okay, time for this month's core four tips. Tip number one, proactively look and control change at every possible level, all the time. Tip number two, make sure that all workers understand what change is and how it can impact their safety. Tip number three, develop a change management procedure right now if you don't already have one. Core Safety's Module 11 can help you with that. And going back to our opening story for tip number four, please pay close attention to everything involving powered haulage. Those are risky situations all the time, but especially if any form of change is involved. Okay, that's all for December 2018. Watch your email in a couple of weeks for our next core safety message that will be coming your way. And we'll see you again here when Core Safety TV kicks off the new year, 2019. Can you believe that? Until then, for the National Mining Association, I'm Nelson Duffel. Have a very safe and joyful holiday season. And thank you very much for watching. To share one of your safety stories, videos, or photos, email us at info at coresafetytv.org.